nation's foremost children's entertainers, Mr. Jeremy Lyon. <laughs> Lion, children's entertainer. Ah! <laughs> the uh, noise of a lion <laughs> is, uh, is an absolute tremendous treat for me. To, excuse me, tremendous treat uh, for me to be here. Is, uh, Christ! <laughs> Sorry about that. It's a tremendous treat for me uh, to be here this evening. For those of you who don't know, hello. I am a a professional children's entertainer with, uh, ooh, wee, with over 15 years of experience in my belt. I sat down recently with my first wife, Pat, <laughs> to work out how many children over the years I have pleasured with my act. <laughs> An average of, let's say, 15 shows a week over the course of five years, to, let's say approximately 15 children per show. That is... Uh, Roughly 1,500, 100,000 children. <laughs> it is an approximate figure. It doesn't take into account weeks when I haven't done five. Sometimes there aren't as many as 15 children. And sometimes the children leave before the end. <laughs> that, I'm sure, won't happen this evening because I have a very special treat for all the boys in... Oh, Christ. For all the boys. <laughs> we'll have to address that. I'm sorry about that. I've, no, I've, got, a, I've got a tiny, tiny pocket of wind trapped. Just, I don't normally get that. Well, I do. I tell you how this happened. <laughs> Earlier on today, I ate 142 mint poppets for a, <laughs> for a bet with my hairdresser, and one of, one of them would appear to have become lodged just under here. So it's causing me some flatal discomfort. I apologise for that. I mean, I won the bet. He only ate four. <laughs> so you know, every cloud. But still, let's let's uh, ooh, let's crack on. Still. What I've got for you this evening, boys and girls, and I'm keenly aware that there aren't that many boys and girls in this audience, administration will cock ups once again. But, oh, God, God. <laughs> no, it's fine, it's gone, it's cleared up. Uh, don't take it back. The... Well, uh, yes, children's entertainment, that's of course is what I'm here for you this evening. Uh, uh, put yourselves, if you can, into the minds and bodies of six year old children. Obviously, set parameters, don't soil yourselves. Uh, have a tantrum. But what, what I've got for you now is a bit of a treat. It harks back to a more innocent age of, uh, of children's entertainment, a day you know, before, before razor blades and, and so forth came along to blight children's lives. <laughs> and what, and you know, I've, when I was a child, I used to entertain myself with nothing more than a box of matches and a kitten. But kids today... <laughs> kids today aren't happy unless they've got... Down the roller disco with 15 Dreamcasts, they're spoiled. But this... I'm going to read you all a bedtime story, but it is no ordinary. God, it is no. You'd have thought the mint puppet would melt, wouldn't you, after six hours? <laughs> it's like it's got a bloody ball bearing in the mansion. I don't like to the factory. Yes, I'm going to read you all a no ordinary bedtime story because this story is going to be told to you, boys and girls, using my late father's travelling suitcase puppet theatre. If we lift this up here. Uh. Yes, you are right to be impressed. It's got, <laughs> we put a little backdrop there, and we hang the little curtains up here, and then we have, upon this wooden stage, the marionette puppets dance as they, they enact the story. Sadly, I've had to sell the puppets. <laughs> so we shall improvise as I tell you all... As, as I tell you all the story of Goldilocks and the three bears. Now, once upon a time, there was a beautiful young girl called Goldilocks. <laughs> she, she's, a, she's a cracking girl. And I know, but Tesco Metro don't sell marionette puppets, do they? <laughs> my, hands, my hands are tied. Goldilocks was walking through the woods, boys and girls, when she came across a house and the door was open and she thought, how exciting. And it was no ordinary house because it had gingerbread walls, a marzipan roof and a peppermint knocker. <laughs> uh, no, it didn't. It, it was completely normal. 
So she opened the door and went in. And <laughs> on the table, there were three bowls of porridge. So she tried the first bowl. <laughs> which was quite gassy for porridge. <laughs> she tried the second bowl. Oh, which was surprisingly strong. <laughs> she tried the third bowl. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that at all. <laughs> so, Goldilocks thought, I'd better go upstairs and say hello to my grandmother, Gordon. <laughs> and good. And Grandmother Gordon, when she saw Goldilocks coming in, she said to her, mm. <laughs> you know, that's it. <laughs> God, that's, oh, that's, that's a hard when it's warm. The, <laughs> no, no, she didn't say that. She, <laughs> so, she said, she said, Goldilocks, what, what big eyes you have. And Goldilocks said, um, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the bears, of course. The bear, I'm coming to the bears. I'm using, I'm using a split narrative structure like in Hobby City. <laughs> there's, a, there's a big bear. There's, there's a, what the hell? Been in there a while. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> oh, big balloon bear. <laughs> and a little middle sized bear who I'm very fond of. Oh. <laughs> they don't go together. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was a little, little baby bear who today is Bailey's. Yeah, many of them there. <laughs> He's got a brother. <laughs> oh. Right. Back at those two bears. <laughs> when, they, when, they, when, these, when these bears saw the Goldilocks, they said, Fee, fi, fo, fum. <laughs> um, who's been sleeping in my porridge? And this. <laughs> This, this, this frightened little red Robin Hood <laughs> who, who steals from the poor to give to the fridge. <laughs> by, by now, <laughs> by now, go, go to lots boys and girls who've been imprisoned in the tower for a hundred years. <laughs> Because she had fallen asleep under a spinning wheel that had a pay under it. <laughs> and she was imprisoned by the evil Queen Napoleon of Brandy. <laughs> oh, oh, I wouldn't even fucking cook with that. <laughs> you know, she's, oh, she's, she's, She's an evil queen. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. And got it, Locks thought, I'd better escape. Luckily, outside of the tower, there was a Russian prince. <laughs> and he was standing out, oh, he's standing outside of the tower and he said, Let down your hair! Let down your hair! And Goldilocks said, Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. <laughs> she, she was a surprisingly hairy girl. God, I've seen some websites. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good lad, the prince. <laughs> One of the most enduring characters in children's literature. <laughs> right, well, let's. Let's recap. <laughs> Go, 
Goldie Horn and Prince are hiding in a wolf. <laughs> when the cinema come out. <laughs> well, the stairs. <laughs> That's good. And, uh, the comely uh, grandmother, the genies and mixer. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> a bear. That's a, that was a fuck up bear. <laughs> He's a good lad, this bear. Isn't it? <laughs> oh, his, his brother can fuck off. <laughs> I've got the taste of bounty in my mouth now. <laughs> the, 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 the chocolate bar, not the paper the towel. <laughs> the, no, the scare, the, uh, sorry, the tin man got his heart back. <laughs> the scarecrow got it. It was a gun, was it? Took his head off like an owl. He comes off. He was set off. Doctor Who. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Goldilocks, that's it. The Goldilocks. Go, oh, God, bugger it. This Golden. Go, well, boys and girls, I hope you're feeling sleepy. I, who's this who's come to save the day? Why? Is the three wise men. Ernest, uh, Julio, and Gallo. <laughs> I was fucking off. I was. I was. I was. I shouldn't have the three wise men. That's not. not <laughs> oh, crap. That. They shouldn't have even been in here. They're from the Nativity. That's a different. A different. A different story. Moments like that will make me look unprofessional. <laughs> However, Tiny Tim was born. <laughs> they all live happily ever after. Oh, God, it looks an accident of gesture. No, and, and they all, oh, fuck it. Merry Christmas and good night. Thank you. <laughs>